Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Friday, July 8th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had a pretty darn nice relief rally, but on very weak volume. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. It's always a happy day on Friday. Looking at this market, we, well, we've got to make some decisions here this morning, and we've got some data coming out before the market opens that could really change things. So first off, let's take a look at the support and resistance levels in the chart. Clearly, we, um, we improved nicely yesterday, but unfortunately, we didn't breach through some price resistance in the chart, and we remain in that downtrend. And though, although we have this nice little upside relief, we're still stuck in this kind of um, block of uncertainty here in the market. Will we have enough energy uh, to the upside to push through and maybe test some of these resistance levels to the upside, breaking that downtrend? Well, there is some question on that with the volume being so anemic, it, it does beg the question whether we have the momentum to push through there. However, we have some data coming out this morning that might change that. Whether it becomes bullish or bearish momentum, we'll have to wait and see. Taking a look at our technicals here, <clears throat> excuse me, in the chart, as you can see, we've got a 34 EMA above that 50 day um, uh, moving average up there as well. So we still have quite a little bit of work to get up through there, but it would be really, really nice to see um, a little bit of follow through here on Friday. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also very similar situation here where we're running right into the downtrend here in the chart. Still struggling with that overhead resistance. Although we have this upside opportunity, we're still in this you know choppy wait and see kind of block um, here in the market waiting on that next round of earnings beginning next Thursday. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Perhaps the data today can push us on through. We will have to keep in mind we've got a 34 EMA and a 50 day moving average up there providing some price resistance in the chart. So uh, boy, it's a tough call here this morning and futures have been kind of bouncing back and forth. Been trying to go a little bit positive in the pre-market pump up, but then uh, they pull right back. So a lot of uncertainty heading into this number this morning. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ made a nice move yesterday and you got you to gotta give this up to the bulls. The Qs were really pushed by those big techs and um, the big techs were showing lots of energy to the upside. And as you can see, we just kind of pushed out of that downtrend here in the chart. But unfortunately, we still have this resistance level in here that we couldn't quite beat on the day. So we'll have to watch this pretty closely. This higher low and that possibility that we could squeak out a higher high heading into the weekend would be wonderful. Um, but we have that stumbling block ahead of us here. Um, with the economic data. Let's take a look. Notice that we're very, very close to that 50-day moving average. And I would suggest when we get this close to a 50-day moving average, it seems unlikely that we won't test it. But then again, that data today could be a little bit of a challenge for us. And it's, it is interesting that so much energy is being driven into big tech ahead of their earnings. There's quite a little bit of speculation here. So we will have to be careful and you'll want to note that that volume remains pretty darn light on this rally if we take a look at our russell iwm also pushed up nicely but was unable to deal with that downtrend here just yet now if i pull down and i leave this as kind of the outlier we're pushed right up against that level once again we're trying to determine whether or not we can bust through that price resistance in the chart the higher low certainly gives us that hope but unfortunately that 50-day moving average 34 ema moving average may have something to say about that as we push on up so watch that closely let's take a look at our vix <clears throat> 
interestingly enough, our VIX pulled back, but it just wasn't, you know, thinking about just how much we rallied yesterday with the Dow being up 350 points, we just didn't get a big change in the VIX. Now we did kind of squeak um, down below this trend, but it wasn't a lot of conviction. And we saw that in the volume. There just wasn't a lot of conviction um, in that move. And it does break, bring the question, will we have enough momentum here this morning to push through some of those overhead resistance levels? Um, this would be exactly the place where if we can't push through, if that data that comes out this morning happens to be bearish, that'd be exactly the place we would bounce from. Um, so we'll want to watch that kind of closely. Now, certainly being up here above 26 handles isn't exactly um, a, a major bullish win for the market, but it is a nice hope that we are improving just a little bit. So fingers crossed, maybe there might be a little bit of silver lining coming our way. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, unfortunately, T2122 made a big move to the upside yesterday. Um, which which does tell us that we still have more room for for upside as you can see if we could push on up in here and that's kind of what I favor I would like to see us push up into that bearish reversal zone um, but yeah just not yet as a matter of fact yesterday I was looking for better call credit spreads on the indexes and I will be looking for those this morning particularly if we can get a bullish push to the upside so watch carefully now why would I be thinking bearish well first off we still have an awful lot of price resistance above and then we're going to go into next week's earnings reports and I personally can't see earnings with the consumer being so stressed I can't see earnings being um, all that great um, this quarter so um, I'm kind of leaning toward that bearish side if we can push up a little bit higher um, in the market here. So um, probably a bias on my part, um, but I do think there is some upside opportunity yet to come. So watch carefully for that. Now, if that data comes out today and inspires those bears, what we have done is we've created a, a big potential move to the downside that would be a little bit painful and another failure at price resistance that would be um, a problem for the market. So watch that closely today now our t2107 certainly didn't provide us with a whole lot of energy at all yesterday as a matter of fact right up until um, the last half of the day we had t2107 reaching down um, um, into some um, low areas here of the market so the stocks holding above the 200 day didn't get a whole lot of attention um, yesterday only 17 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day that doesn't provide us a whole lot of energy uh, um, in that momentum that I've been talking about to push through those resistance levels but we'll want to watch that closely that number today could potentially inspire those bulls um, let's fingers crossed that it doesn't really heavily inspire those bears as you can see we still have a major downtrend here to overcome in this so kind of a difficult situation here on t2107 on t2108 we had better results and largely again that was big tech that was tech there was a lot of money just kind of driving into tech stocks pushing them up um, and I think a lot of that is just anticipation of earnings and some speculation that they're going to perform better than folks uh, think they will. Uh, we will see with the consumer being so inflationary stress, you know, the, all that inflation stress, all of the fuel prices, f um, home prices, uh, rent prices, food prices, putting all kinds of stress on the consumer. It does make you wonder whether or not even those big tech giants will be able to perform that well. So keep a close eye on that. But we did have a nice move here in T2108 pushing up. We're trying to get through some of these resistance levels in the chart and we do have to keep in mind that there are plenty of resistance levels above that and still a downtrend that we need to, to beat 33 percent 30 well let's call it 34 it's 33 and a half 34 percent of the stocks 
holding above their 40 day moving average, not a 50 day, holding above their 40 day. So pretty hard to build a major bullish case on that just yet. Let's take a look at our, um, I, would, I was gonna show T2101, but there really is no point in showing T2101 because we're not getting good data here. On, on any momentum with volumes being so low here in the market. So T2101 probably isn't helping us out to see that momentum here in the market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And this is what I've been talking about all morning. It's that employment situation number. And unfortunately, if we look into that employment situation number this morning, consensus is um, suggesting that we're going to see a decline in payrolls. As you can see, non-farm payrolls, our prior was 390. They're looking for 270. Now, if we pull back and hit a number kind of like that, we're probably going to be okay. And that might help inspire those bulls. If we happen to miss on that number, that's where the problems will come in. Of course, our unemployment rate, they're still saying is going to stick right there at 3.6 on our private payrolls. They're also looking for a decline in that. So kind of a bittersweet number. If we can uh, decline without declining too far, maybe we can help inspire those bulls. Unfortunately, there is a number in here that's not all of that all of that nice if you take a look at the average um, our average hourly earnings year over year they are suggesting that that is going to decline um, not a good situation for the consumer if our um, average earnings continue to decline and our inflationary costs continue to rise so um, who knows how this number will come out and what the reaction for the market will be. We can expect some volatility here in the pre-market um, on that news. We also have um, one Fed speaker that will be speaking twice today and a few other um, ancillary reports that probably won't uh, generate a whole lot of attention in the market. Now on the earnings calendar, we also have a completely dead day. There are no... Um, confirmed earnings reports here for Friday. So nothing that can help um, inspire or hurt the market on that earnings front today. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. If you find them to be useful and helpful, if you can please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. Um, they are very important to me. I do try to answer all of those uh, comments and also keep the spam cleaned out of the channel. But um, I truly, truly appreciate all your kind support uh, for the effort of putting these together. You guys are truly awesome. Now let's take a look at a couple of things that could be setting up. And remember guys, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're gonna have to do your own due diligence. And with this number this morning, well, I, I think we just have to admit anything is possible. So be very, very careful how you approach the market for today, uh, at least at the first part until we see how we're uh, going to get that reaction to the number. And remember, as we slide into the weekend, we still have that uncertainty coming of all of those earnings reports next week that are going to start kicking off. We've got an FOMC that is leaning into being aggressive. So we still have a lot of reasons to be just a little bit cautious and not be tossing that caution to the wind and rushing straight into risk. Let's take a look at a few stocks in here. Now, a couple things that I saw yesterday that were really nice. Um, um, Roku. Now, Roku had a, uh, has had a nice week here so far. Now, we're still not breaking out of this downtrend here in the chart. But as you can see, we're, pu we're pushing up and we just kicked ourselves just above that 50-day moving average. So now the question is going to be, can we hold this little higher low in here? Um, can we hold above that 50-day moving average and can maybe consolidate, rest that out, and then see if there might be some upside charts? Now, there's a lot of these out here doing that. Take a look at um, Etsy. <clears throat> Etsy. Broke through that 50-day moving average, had a little one-day test and started to push on up yesterday. 
uh, to the upside. As you guys know, I've mentioned this a few times this week. We'll want to watch that closely. This is what we call a round of bottom breakout. I do suspect there may be a little bit more consolidation in this chart. And the reason I say that is our current upside trend is here. So we may have to consolidate and rest a little longer before we get moving to the upside, but watch that closely. As you guys know, <clears throat> I have also been mentioning snow. Whoops. Snow is another rounded bottom breakout pattern. Now we, we popped through the 50 and then lost it. And now here we are again trying to push back up through that 50 day moving average. So watch in here for maybe a little potential rest or consolidation. And then we'll see if we can move on through to the upside here in that chart. Nice looking um, overall chart. We can also say the same thing about Chewy. And I've been talking about this one. Chewy um, has moved up nicely, broke through that 50 day moving average average pulled back found that downtrend in here as support and just use that to leverage right on higher now I do think I, I wouldn't want to chase Chewy here a little rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there but keep a close eye on that now also um, in the charts I think we need to be taking a look at um, UPS now I've been mentioning UPS here for quite some time and UPS still continues to linger in this area where we're struggling against this resistance but I do like the fact that we have this upside trend and I mentioned right from clear over here that possibility that we may still have to rest our way out here toward the trend so keep a close eye on that with everything being bought online nowadays we're going to have to watch the shippers certainly fuel costs are going to be a, um, a, an impact on them but um, there is that possibility that we could um, continue to pop on out just because of their volume of activity um, in the market. Now let's take a look at a few other places that were interesting yesterday. Um, <clears throat> we saw we saw some action in the solar sector yesterday, pushing up. Now. I wouldn't call this um, ready for prime time just yet, but it is nice to see that we're pushing through these levels here in the chart. We're trying to break that downtrend. We're pushing through that 50 day moving average here. So again, we have that possibility with this little higher low that we could create a rounded bottom breakout holding above that 50 day moving average and then bringing in those buyers. <clears throat> to push us up here in first solar. So keep a close eye on that. And we saw also the same in like tan. Um, tan, once again, maybe not quite ready for prime time yet. We had a nice little pop up here toward that 50 day moving average. But notice we're still kind of stuck within that downtrend. So I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this pull back a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised to see it pop out and then pull back, but watch that closely. We're a little bit stretched away from that trend, so it may need a little bit more time to build some energy in there. Now we also saw some, well, some reasonably good moves in some of the defensive sector stocks. Keep a close eye on some of these. If you take a look at some of those inflation defensive type trades, take a look at Dollar General. General. Um, I've been mentioning Dollar General here the last couple of weeks. Dollar General looking good and we have this nice little stepping pattern here where we're moving on up and we're getting up here trying to test whether or not we can break out from these all-time highs. I would watch for the possibility of a pullback in this or a consolidation to build that energy to see if we can pop on through. But watch that closely on Dollar General. Take a look at a stock like Go. Um, Go has been use, um, working really, really well. Grocery stores just leaping here to the upside. Again, just another one of those steppers that have been moving along. And notice we just created the, the next step with a bullish move here yesterday. Now we do have to think about the price resistance that is in this chart. If we look at the weekly and pull this back, we've got a lot of price resistance up here to deal with, but we certainly have good buying momentum in this chart and there's nothing in this just yet that says that this trend is ready to give up. So I do think it's worth keeping an eye on um, go 
just in case we can get some further upside in the charts. Now, if you're looking for some potential short trades, I got to tell you guys, there are quite a few places to start looking for those potential short trades. Let's take a look um, just right in here on the diamonds. As we push up into this price resistance, you know, the thing I say over and over and over to folks in RWO, how many times do we have to fail against a trend line before we believe it's true? And you can see that possibility that as we rally up in here, we push into those resistance levels in the chart, this could turn into just another failure pattern in that chart. And we see that also in a lot of the text. Take a look at Apple. Um, Apple rallied up nicely, but I want to point out this big resistance area that we're coming into here in Apple and that possibility that we could run into that resistance and continue to fail. So you might want to, I know everyone wants to look at the market with a bullish or rose colored glasses on, but remember our indexes are in a downtrend and we're going to be running into third quarter earnings here soon that could certainly create some uh, uh, volatility and uncertainty and potential misses in earnings. So watch some of these stocks that have stretched up here pretty far. I would not want to chase this stock being up this many days in a row as we press into price resistance in the chart. So there are some of those short trades out there setting up and unfortunately there's a lot of them setting up in those tech stocks. Take a look at a stock like Nvidia. Nvidia had a nice rally here recently but boy unfortunately all we're doing is pushing into the downtrend and pushing into significant resistance in that chart so if this were to stumble there you go you've got an opportunity for another short just following the trend to the downside so I know most folks don't want to hear that but that is the truth and we're going to have to keep our eyes wide open remembering that this earnings season might be a little tough. So with that, everyone, just be careful, be safe, trade wisely. Don't over trade this market. Remember, we've got more data coming next week and that big round of third quarter earnings kicking off. So be kind of careful, plan your risk um, carefully heading into the weekend. So everyone have an awesome, awesome weekend. We'll see you right back here, bright and early in the morning. I wish you all of the best today and hopeful, hope that you all have a wonderful and safe weekend. Take care. Everyone.